Hello there, I am Bendegu Shuli and I will be showing you a couple of tips and tricks in Aptar's reinforcement add-on. New dedicated layers in reinforcement 5.0 Up until now, when you place the reinforcement into the building element, you could place them on Archicad default layers or you had to create a new one manually. This has now been changed and when you place a reinforcement, a new dedicated layer appears and the element will be placed on it. There is a default layer structure. Let's start with the slab. In Arica 26, all layers are grouped by different criteria. Now I select the slab element and as we can see, it's a simple slab. I will place the mesh into this. Clicking on the slab tool on the reinforcement palette, the settings window appears. By default, the mesh element is selected in the library. Of course, I could select any other element, but now I leave the mesh. On the bottom of this window, the layer selection is available, where we can already see a layer called reinforcement slab. This layer was not available earlier, and as we can see, the new layer group was created automatically. The new layer, of course, is placed in the new layer group. I click on OK and place the mesh in the slab. Now, I once again open the layer settings window. In the layer group part of this window, the reinforcement folder appeared and clicking on it, the new reinforcement slab layer is also visible. The next is a wall. I select it and click on the wall tool icon. The settings window is opened and on the bottom side of the window, the new reinforcement wall layer is already available. Continuing the operation, the mesh is placed in the wall. When I select it on the info box palette, the elements layer is already the reinforcement wall. Let's check the layer settings window again. The reinforcement wall layer was created in the reinforcement layers folder. The next is a beam. I select it and click on the beam tool icon. A new layer is created, which is called Reinforcement Beam. Click on OK and place the reinforcement of this element. In the layer settings window, one more new layer is visible. I did the same process with columns. I select it and click on the column tool icon. The RF underscore column element is set and the new reinforcement column layer is created. And finally, the roof element. I select the roof and click on the roof tool icon. In the settings window, the new layer is already visible and I can choose any of the reinforcement elements. All of them will be placed on the new layer. Now I select the mesh and click on OK. I place the mesh into the roof. Of course, as with all previous layers, this layer is created in the reinforcement layer folder. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at one of the email addresses in the description. You can also visit our website and find out more about our solutions. Link also in the description. Have a good day.